Hey guys, down your Mifflin's raking in the dough. Whoa, that means everyone gets a pay raise. Do the horrible shake. So that means inflation is rising. Okay, Pam, you're not gonna get any more, so you're gonna get fat. I'm hungry, two hungry, three hungry, four hungry, five hungry. Toby? Yes. Is this how much you get paid? Yeah. But that's way too much. But the dollar isn't worth as much. Why does Toby get paid so much? I mean, I don't even get this much money. I always get paid this much. Three factorial. <laughs> okay, how many people actually work here? That's way too many. Everyone, we have a problem with inflation. So everyone, to the conference room. Ryan is totally into me. I mean, why wouldn't he be? I am amazing. Kelly looks like a dude. Okay, guys. So clearly, we have a problem with something called inflation. So, does anybody know how to fix it? Me, 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 me. Ooh, let's go into the Nardog. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So this is called the Phillips curve, and it shows a trade-off between unemployment and inflation, which is what we have way too much of right now. So, when we draw the curve, we're most likely somewhere around here, somewhere with too high of inflation. And where we'd like to be is somewhere around here. And so to go from here to here, we need some more unemployment. I learned that from Cornell. Econ 101. Alright guys, so good job on our dog. So we gotta get from here to here, which is 5% and then 3% inflation, 5% unemployment. Because right now, the cost of making paper is way too much. Oh. Alright, so we gotta get to 5% unemployment, which is the natural rate of unemployment. So it's time to fire people, which is how we can get from here to here. So, Phyllis, you eat too much. <gasps> I don't understand what Michael's talking about. I mean, I don't eat that much. <laughs> Toby, you're annoying. You're fired. Get out of here. That's alright. Go on. Go on. See you later. Michael's just a bully. And you know what, Stanley? You're also fired. So get out of here. Okay. I couldn't care less if I got fired. I got another job that pays more than this. Michael is just firing a lot of people. I know, he's just firing a lot of people. But, good thing we're still together. Those people are just useless. I like what Michael's doing. Wait, 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 wait. Michael, that's not gonna work. You can't just fire people. There are certain shifters to move this point along the line, somewhere along where we need it to be. And let me tell you, Far away, darn dog. Yeah, woof woof! Okay, first is consumer spending, which is represented by a C. Second is investment spending. Third is government spending. And fourth is net exports. That's what we need to work on. C plus I plus G plus XN makes real GDP. And then a decrease in any of the following will make aggregate demand go down, which means a shift on the right for the short run Phillips curve, increasing unemployment but decreasing inflation. Okay, cool. 
So all of you guys, back to work. Even though three people are fired, they're not necessarily considered to be unemployed. Stanley has a second job already, so he's not part of the unemployed. Phyllis, she's too lazy to even look for a job that she's not included in the labor force either. Uh, Toby, however, is the only one unemployed because he's still looking for a job. Michael, now that you fired all those people, we have a different unemployment rate. Really? Um, so how do we calculate the rate of unemployment? Does anybody know? I know. Ooh. I know how to do it. Go ahead. Okay. Let me see that. So what you do is you take your number of unemployed over the number in your labor force. Then you take that and multiply it by 100 to give you a percent. And that will give you your uh, unemployment rate. They're not spending. We got a decrease in consumer spending. So we're uh, exporting our paper to uh, Mexico. Guys, we cannot export. Why not, Dwight? Because Michael said so. I always do what Michael says. And in this case, we need to decrease exports. Sweet new printer. Did you get this new printer? It's down. We can't afford to invest. We need to decrease our investments. Dunder Mifflin. Oh, hey, Robert, what's up? The government did what? So I just got a call from our CEO, Robert, and he told me that the federal government is decreasing its spending, which is going to make inflation go down and unemployment goes up. So you see, there's always a trade-off. Alright, so we shifted from here, we had too much inflation, all the way to here. Boop. Andy, is that good enough for you? No, now we're in a recession, and we have to increase one of the shifters to move this back to the left to equilibrium. Hey guys! Dunder Mifflin Zoo and great again. Woo! That means everyone gets a pay raise. Woo! Do the Harlem Shake. No. Not again.